we're going to witness exactly the opposite, but in a very similar way, where pastors and ministers that have been in, in ministry for so long will say, my goodness, I've never seen God move in this way ever before. Hey guys, it's Yeshe, yeshebotton.com, and I just want to give you a really quick encouragement. If you're new here on this channel and this is the first video you see, well, welcome, I'm Yeshua. I'm doing sometimes complete random videos like this one. Sometimes I do more story-driven videos and sometimes I do vlogs, but it's all geared towards helping you go from life struggles to spiritual empowerment. I really feel like God is moving in a very unique way and special way in this season that we're in right now. We're entering into something that I believe the world has never seen before, Christianity has never seen before. Pastors that have been in ministry for so long have never seen before. The world is saying, oh man, people are behaving this and that way and doing these and that, those bad things in all my life. I've never seen people act like this ever before. And I believe that we're going to witness exactly the opposite, but in a, in a very similar way, where pastors and ministers that have been in, in ministry for so long will say, my goodness, I've never seen God move in this way ever before. I believe that there will be an outpouring of God's glory. I wouldn't say outpouring of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is already out, poured out. But I believe there will be another move of the Holy Spirit where <laughs> with no regard to any denomination, where Baptists will do stuff, where Pentecostals will say, oh my goodness, they're doing this? And where Pentecostals will do, will, will do things that Baptists will say, oh my goodness, I would have never thought they would do that. God will move in such a powerful way and unique way with signs, wonders, and miracles. It's not going to be here and it's going to be out there in the world publicly seen. I believe it's, it's already starting. I see Christians be motivated and move in a new boldness and move <laughs> right this wave of God's glory already. I just want to encourage you to be prepared and to, to jump on your spiritual surfing board and ride that wave. If you're a Christian and you have to get something in order with God, dude, now is the time. Now is the time. This is not a message of to put you down, but you know just for yourself, where you need to get things in order. I know God wants to move and wants to touch you. Right now, in this very moment, I want to pray for you. Come on, let's just come before God right where you are. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I pray right now for the person listening or watching me here right now. <clears throat> I pray that you would stretch out your hand mightily right now as I pray. I come against anything that lies to the listener that tries to pull down, that tries to water down, that tries to distract, I'll bind those things right now in Jesus' name. I come against them right now in Jesus' name. I command them to leave. Father, I pray for your mighty outpouring, your mighty power right now to touch, to touch. I, I release revival. I release revival. Everything that's accusing you, oh, you don't have this in order, oh, you're not ready like this, you cannot do this, oh, don't, you better don't. What would your pastor say? I rebuke that lie right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you would touch the person right now with deliverance, with healing, and a fresh anointing right now in Jesus' name. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Wherever you are, I, I ask you, you, listener, that you would just receive right now. I, I believe that the Holy Spirit is moving right now in this very moment. Receive whatever God is doing. Receive it. Receive in Jesus' name. I thank you. Amen. Wow, I feel like God is not done yet. God, I thank you. What's on your heart, God? What's on your heart? If you're not done, what do you want to do? Maybe just a little add-on. Just God impressed in my spirit. See, this is the thing. Well, I feel Holy Spirit is, is, is wanting to put a, a dent in and make a point that Holy Spirit is going to move in a way that is out of the ordinary. It's going to be out of the ordinary, out of the, oh, but I thought we're going to do this now. No, it's not going to be that way. It's going to be the Holy Spirit way where he will move outside the program where pastors and ministers and even those internet personalities, I'm not a big personality on the internet, but you know, those... All, all those 
let's just say in general, all those, those Christians, they might be on the platform or they might be just sitting in the pew. We all have to buckle up and go on the Holy Spirit ride because it's going to be different than the program we are made up. You just thought the prayer's over. You just thought the video's over. But see, I, I believe that the Holy Spirit is exactly doing this, what just happened now, where He's just taking over and is going to lead in another direction, maybe in another level of glory, maybe another level of, of anointing and fire. You just got to be ready. Be ready for the ride. Be ready that God is going to do a new thing. A new thing. Well, that was different. I just felt like God really wanted me to share this with you and encourage you. And dude, just go forward. Just move forward. There are new exciting things ahead. Sometimes it will be a fight. Sometimes we got to overcome. But man, God is on the throne. God is, <laughs> God is on the steering wheel. He's going to drive us. He's going to move us forward. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you did, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Right here. God bless.